What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here. Today we're starting the Let's Play of the new version of Fallout Frost, version 0.2. So, let's get a move on. Now, this time our special is a little bit different. It is 4555441, and our name is Ralamus Andala. And the reason I'm going with that special allocation is because... Intimidation in the Charisma Tree was lowered to Charisma 6, which we will get with either the Special Book or the Charisma Bobblehead, and now it actually has some application, apparently, with survivors and the like in the world, and I want to see if it's actually worth taking in Frost or not. So it might be really bad, it might be really good, but either way, we're going to check it out and see how fun it is to use. And this time we're going to be using the left start, which is the Shipwreck start, so let's get moving. I don't know too much about this start, by the way. I did look at it a few minutes before, but other than that, I don't know. Also, I'm pretty sure these doors are supposed to be named, depending on the start, but I don't know why they're not. And, uh oh we're getting radiation. Soggy note, fungal purge. Ooh, looks like we have a gas mask already. Let's go ahead and throw that on. I, I looked around, I couldn't fix that bug, though, to uh, get rid of the... What is it called? Or to make the names pop up for individual doors. So, Soggy Note. Let's go ahead and check that. To begin again. Let go. Okay, and I am already hearing things. Let's go ahead and pick up this board as our weapon. And anything, a do few dollars. We got like $11 there, so we can use that for some nice crafting. We'll put the board on there. And now the first objective is to, I guess, find somewhere to sleep. I guess, you know, you'd expect to get off the island would be a good objective, but no, we need to find somewhere to sleep. Also, Lexington Station's marked. Interesting. That is probably for a reason, so Lexington Station sounds like a thing we need to go for. We have to be careful, though. I can see right there, they're radiation barrels. I want to try and stay away from them. Also, why do I have my crosshair on? It's probably because I restarted the entire game, or uh, not restarted, I restarted, um, I reinstalled the whole game for this new version of Frost. I'm using the same mods as before, but completely restarted. Hello, Muck Crabs. Let's just go ahead and deal with you. You guys are relatively easy. Don't even need to get hit once, thankfully. There we go. Now, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much on this ship, but there could be. So I'm going to be careful with the radiation. Well, we got bandage and cloth. That's good. Let me go ahead and, ooh. We're getting rads where I'm standing, so I gotta be careful here. Put the, uh, no, 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 bandage down here. That's a much easier button for me to hit on my mouse. Okay, so there's radiation, whoa, oh my god, you scared me. Oh man, this is creepy. So we got radiation behind us. Anything in here that's like, no. We got radiation behind us we want to be careful of. We don't want to stay here too long. Wow, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. No bobby pins. That's okay, though. Um, I think they actually changed the sneak meter, too. It says undetected now, but I think it says, like, completely new things for all of them. Like, undetected, I believe, is hidden now. And then I, there's... Uh, ooh, I can't open any of these. Whoa. Why is it making sounds when I'm just looking at it? That's weird. Um, there's searching for caution, and then there is hunting, I think. Think are hunted for danger. Yeah, they they changed the set the uh, the dialogue around for the or the uh, the UI around for the new update. There's actually quite a bit of changes in the new Frost update, including Far Harbor, which apparently there's a completely new way to get there and stuff, which I haven't really looked at. I don't know how to get there. I'm gonna figure it out as we go, but I didn't want to spoil myself. I want to be a little bit careful here. We'll go. Oh, I see a ghoul. I can already tell right there. There's a silhouette of a ghoul walking around over there. Jawless cow skull. Ooh, a flare and a flare gun. Two flares. That's nice. That helps out a lot. So our first gun. I don't know how good a flare gun really is, but I mean, it's a gun, right? Although for a ghoul, we're not going to need to use anything besides the board. It looks like that's the only ghoul, at least on the outside here. So we'll just sneak up to him and kill him. Actually, I'm probably just going to stand up and beat him down because... A sneak attack, he's gonna detect me in like an instant, even though he's blind. Or maybe not, I don't know. Mr. Ghoul! If you wanna just like stand still, there's a body right there. Okay. Okay, buddy. Come on, look at me. Look at me more. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. 
And we have a survivor with some money, 44 rounds of snub nose, 44 sugar bombs, and some more clothes, winter jacket and jeans. I didn't actually look at what we started with. We have ragged leathers here, tattered leathers, which is tattered leathers, which are worse, but have luck. And it looks like these winter jacket and jeans are about the same when it comes to... Well, that's weird. See, this one shows chest protection. But this one, this one, I, this is actually better because this gives one arm, one, both arms, and then one chest. Whereas this rag leather doesn't give anything. So this is technically better. It just doesn't seem like it. And I don't need the hood or anything because I need, I have a gas mask. And the gas mask is all we're going to be using. We'll take this glowing fungus so we can make sure we start stockpiling for fungal purge. I'm really glad that I've played through a decent amount of frost already. So I already know what I'm doing here. But it is fun to start over again. I was a little bit sad when I saw he recommended a new game for the new update, but I was completely prepared for this. I knew it would happen, and I'm okay with it. Also, Sledgehammer, we'll go ahead and use that. Let's see, 32 damage versus the board, which is 19, and they're the same speed. Also, Snub Nose put you on 3. Make sure you're loaded, which you are. Okay, so... Ooh, a mini nuke. Um, well, I want to put that down gently. I don't want to blow it up. That is nice and all, but it just weighs so much, and we're never going to use it. I can't even remember if you shoot a mini nuke, does it go off? Because then maybe it has some kind of use, but even then, obviously a nuke mine would be better, but no. Yeah, we're not going to find one of those anytime soon, if ever. It doesn't look like there's too much up here. Unfortunately, the bed up here is smashed. And, ooh, oh god, that's scared. Like, <laughs> I mean, see, now I'm just getting... Getting lost in my own area. Oh, we're already tired from lack of sleep, too. Hunting rifle with three bullets. Empty ammo box. We have some beer bottles. Out of bobby pins. Yeah, yeah. A chemistry station. Nice. So we'll be able to make a sleeping bag really soon here. Tattered clothes, I think, as leather. Now, the only question is, can I take apart... Oh, turpentine. I'll have to make sure I start marking that stuff. Uh, Abraxo. Gonna have to mark that. In fact, I think I can make some fungal purge right now. What's cool and have? I want to pick it up just to see. Um, can I take apart any of... Where is it? Where did I drop it all? Did I drop it on, like, you? I don't even know where I dropped it all. It looks like it's right here underneath everything, unfortunately. Yeah, it's all stuck under there. I don't know... Yeah, it's all stuck. I'm not gonna bother. But, uh, I don't know if I can take apart armor at a chemistry bench. I might be able to, just because it'll salvage everything, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to find out how to get leather other than that, which I'm sure won't be that hard, honestly. Now, once we get a sleeping bag, we can actually save, which will be really nice. We'll go ahead and take these bottles. I'll quickly fill them. So we already have a water supply. We already have a gun. Two guns. Multiple guns. We already have a really powerful melee weapon. And we have a start on a lot of fungal purge and glowing fungus and all that stuff. So, honestly, this is a pretty good start. Now, I don't know what else is on this island. So, yeah, it's looking good, but I could run into, like... I don't even want to think about it, because I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's a fucking bear. Okay. Yep. That's a bear. Mmm. I don't even know how strong bears are. Not even going to try it. Not even going to attempt it. Bears could die in one bullet to the head. They could take 20. I'm not gonna check. Not today. That's why we sneak. That is the use of it. Also, I didn't say... I did, oh, man. I miss my... I miss my good clothes. I miss my Federation fatigues. Also, last time I went in the water, it looked like radiation was fixed. Like, when I go in there, it actually radiates me. So, I didn't... Ooh, water pump. That's really nice. I wonder... Does it give me... It probably does give me rads when I'm gonna try... Um, oh, that's a uh, more mutt crabs. Let me take those out. I didn't check right now, like recently, in this current playthrough, but when I was doing some testing, it looked like water gave radiation even with the gas mask on. So I think he fixed that, or maybe that was just a bug in my first run that just randomly popped up. But either way, if it is still the same way when I first checked it, it's going to be really difficult to get off Spectacle Island without getting radiation. Just because... In fact, I'm going to test it right now. Let's let's double check just so we know. Yep, okay, he fixed it. 
or at least the bug's not here anymore. So we get full rads for going in the water. Ooh, pipe revolver pistol, nice. It's also possible maybe that the fact that I had a military gas mask last time, it was like better resistance and resisted the water or something, but that seems... That doesn't seem right at all because it's a gas mask. Why would that resist? Like, that doesn't seem right. I, I think it was just a bug. Either way, so how many guns do we have? We have the sledgehammer, we have the flare gun, 44 hunting rifle, and the pipe revolver pistol. Make sure I grab these hub flowers. I don't know what they're used for. Can I eat them? Yeah, but they still have rads. I think I can use them in soup. I'm not 100% though. They don't often make soup, but it is really nice to do. It helps thirst and everything. Oh, is that a fishing rod? Still looking for leather, but I mean, I'm not... Like, I'm not brainstorming anyways to find it. If we find it, good. If we don't, you know, whatever. I'm sure we'll find a bed soon. I hear another one. Oh, hello. Oh, more. There we go. Oh, I can't sleep on this bed. Molotov, pack of cigarettes, glass pitcher. Really, though? <sighs> this bed's probably here in vanilla, but I feel like the dust dev put this here specifically just to troll people. Like, hey, look at this. It's a perfectly good bed, but there's a piece of wood on it, so you can't sleep on it. It just seems to me... You know what? That bear is a hide. If I kill that bear, bet you a million dollars he's got he's got some leather. So if I can find somewhere to sleep, I'll take on that bear. I want to save before I do that, but if I can find a place, I'll do it. And then maybe we'll take it on. Maybe we'll win. Ooh, workshop. Here we go. This might be better. So we can build a settlement here, but I mean, I'm going to. I'm going to build a small outpost, but... We're not going to stay here for very long. There's not too much. There's some food I can see, though. Cannot use this workshop yet. Uh-oh. Let's see why. Uh, the FMS Columbia Log Terminal FF0067A. Is this vanilla? I don't know, but I'm going to read it anyway. We saw the clouds from a few miles out. Captain wanted to turn the ship north, look for somewhere safe up the coast. We never had the chance. When the shockwave hit, it raised waves taller than I'd ever seen. When they came down, Lord, I thought that was the end. Well, I woke up on the shore three days later. Troy, God bless him, pulled me and Duval out of the Columbia when it... After... When the Columbia went under. Don't know how in the hell we lived through that storm. I tried to ask him about it, but he really wouldn't breathe a word. Can't blame him. Really. Tree too. We're working on constructing some basic shelters around the island. The storm tore up the big house the big house down by the docks pretty bad, but the shed's still intact. We've got fish drying sheds set up mid down the island midway down the island, and Troy's even managed to salvage some antenna to make a mayday beacon out of sorts. Of sorts. Problem is frequency's way too high. Besides, I don't know if anyone's even out there listening to hear it. Entry three. Dwell disappeared in the night. He took our raft and most of our supplies. Asshole. Troy and I are going to track him down, but that's not our top priority. If you're reading this, and you're from the Columbia, the job is still on. I repeat, the job is still on. Meet at Liberty. We're seeing this through to the end. Liberty. I don't know... Oh, there we go. Oh. It's not functional. It turned a light on, though. That seems functional to me. I don't know. Maybe I need to fix something. I hear a... My crab around here. I don't know where it is, though. I think it's... Is it over here? I hear you. I don't see you, though. Also, that bear... I'm like, I'm getting really close to that bear. I don't like that. Is that the same bear? I don't even know. Oh, hello. See, I can't really gauge how much damage I do to it using vats, either. Because if you do that to a ghoul, for instance, it'll... Like, and you aim at the head, it doesn't say you do much damage. But there's a trigger that if you hit it in the head, it'll instantly kill it. So it's like, fuck. Is that, a, is that the same bear? Yeah, this. Fuck, man. Oh, I hate this. I hate bears. I, actually, I, I like bears. I think they're cute. But I don't I don't know what bears are like in Frost. I don't I don't want to get eviscerated instantly. I need... Oh, hello. I need somewhere to sleep. I need to find something. Holy fuck! <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh my god! No! Why are there so many? There's like one at every corner. Maybe I can just out- Oh no, bears are fast. But maybe I can- I'm just gonna go over here. Get some radiation, that's okay. Oh, get up, get up! Okay. 
Bear does not see me, apparently. Don't know how. Guess it's blind. I'm sure there's something on this ship if I went under, but the radiation is just ridiculous. Do you want me to just shoot you and see what happens, Betty? I'm just... I mean, I can do decent damage to you. Buddy. It doesn't look like you want to attack me. Okay, yeah, now you do. You can't... You can't swim, though, can you? No. No, he's scared. Oh, are they fighting each other? Oh my god, are they gonna fight each other? Oh no, they're just both... Okay, that's even worse. Yep, they just both wanna kill me. Okay, now we're searching, so we're good. Let's just get over to that ship. This could be the Columbia? I don't know, this doesn't look wrecked enough to be the Columbia. Also, I'm seeing these wires, these power lines going to the ship, so if I can turn this on, I might be able to get a bed built. Possibly. Let's see what we got in here besides these mutt crabs. Hello! Uh, okay, okay. Oh, oh my god, there's a f Oh, you know what? Mmm. I know how we can take the Yaoguais down. There's, there's another mutt crab in here. Let's turn this on, though. Okay, there's the generator turned on. I know how we can take down the Yaoguai. Or the bears, rather. I know how. You guys think what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Luck bobblehead. Yes. Nice. I didn't even know that was here. Probably should have looked at the bonus it gave me. Does it actually? I think it's a... Is it a perk? I can't remember. Um... No. But whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. Gold watch. $10 bills. Military fatigues. Ooh, that sounds like it could be... Uh, they're actually pretty shit. Wow. Military fatigues. Oh, army fatigues might be better, though. Uh, you can put armor over those. So, I mean, if I find something, it might be better. Oh, it gives you strength, too. That's so nice. Does that up my... That helps my carry weight by five if I wear this. But I don't have any more armor if I wear it. Hmm. Well, I I'm gonna wear it just because we're taking that fat man. And we're gonna go get that mini nuke and try and kill those things. But... I almost missed this. Stim pack and a surgical scalpel. Okay, let's take that. And, yeah, that's what I thought. It's just too heavy. Um, can I get enough space? Like, I'll, I'll come back for this stuff. But, like, I really want to use this on them. I think this is, like, a very, very nice thing to do. But how can I drop 15 pounds here? And then with the mini nuke, there's just no fucking way. Like, unless I drop this and this. And even then, like, I still... Oh, my God. This is scary. I mean, well, we know where the stuff is. We'll come back for it. As long as those... Yeah, or the uh, bears aren't on us, which doesn't look like they are. Hello? Oh, you're dead. Sorry. Sorry. Desecrating corpses. Didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. We got a cooking station here. Make some purified water. There we go. Can't cook anything quite yet. What happens if I miss the fat man shot? See, this is what I really want to save. Ooh, fungal purge and bandages. And we have some armor here. Okay, small little cut there. So as I was saying, the armor here is okay. But again, with the weight, especially since we have the fat man now, it's not that great. Also, that baseball bat is not nearly as good as our sledgehammer. Duct tape, just wrench. Doesn't look like we got a bed in here. But again, we can go build one. And this rad, rad stag outfit has better resistances than we're currently wearing, so let's see. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Well, it actually has better resistances than all this stuff. Like, this is just much better in general. Like, I'm gonna still wear the armor fatigues for the strength benefit, but, like, the rad stag outfit is better than the other thing I had, too. Also, is that really another one? This island's a lot bigger than... I mean, well, I guess not, because here I am back at the antenna already. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do... Let's go ahead and see what we need for a bed if I can't build one right now. Oh, let me see about turning this on. There we go. Yes, yes, I know how to use the workshop, thank you. So, we need steel. That shouldn't be too hard to just quickly grab. There we go. I want to make a nice bed. That is really annoying. That is loud. Let's go ahead and take or get rid of that. I'm just gonna put my bed right 
there. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and sleep for... I'm just gonna sleep for an hour right now, just because... Well, I don't want it to get dark out. Not yet. And... Well, I don't really need to sleep that much. I mean, yes, I'm tired and fatigued a bit, and that would help my... Can we wait? But honestly, it's fine. And let's see, what can I build? I want to put a bureau down, I guess, because that's the only thing that I could... I need something small. A footlocker works. Just throw it, like... Come on. There it goes. Alright, much better. Now we're going to go ahead and throw in the flare gun, my radstag outfit, and probably all of our food for now. Actually, I'm going to eat the wild corn. Because we have fungal purge anyway, so wild corn will eat that. There we go. I ate one too many, but that's okay. And actually, I think I want to drop this too, the snub nose. Unfortunately, I just don't think it's... Oh, jeez, I see what's going on. Wait, wait. I just don't think this is going to be enough... Car well, you know what? No, no, no. Let's be smart about it. Let's... Okay, let's do this. This is much smarter. This is much, much smarter. Why would you ever take the fat man with no ammo when you're just going to get its ammo? We should take the thing we use to protect ourselves and make sure the fat man is back there for when we want to go back and use it. So let's run back to the building. And we can take out one bear with the fat man. What if the fat man doesn't kill it? It has to. I mean, it's a fat... Come on. Come on. It's a fat man. It's a mini nuke. There's no way that's not going to just completely obliterate a bear. If not, I got seven shots in this thing. I got three shots to 308. That should knock one down. Hopefully. I don't actually know, but either way. Let's go ahead and grab the mini nuke from the second floor. Was it the second floor, right? I th think, or was it on the first floor? I can't remember now. Let's see, there it is. First floor, got it. And how much does that weigh? That weighs ammo, mini nuke, 12 pounds. Okay, that's, I mean, that's pretty bad. I was about to say it's not that bad, but no, it's pretty fucking bad. That's a lot of weight. Uh, you know, what can you do? Also, is this part of the workshop? It is. So can I, like, uh... Yes, I can. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? You can just store it. I can just, uh... Oh, I can't. Oh, no, because I didn't make this. I can't store it. So I have to take it like this. That's awkward, but whatever. Works still. Definitely want this chemistry station for when we make the sleeping bag, because that's going to be extremely useful. We'll grab rain fungus. Also some glowing fungus here. Grab... All of that. I really should just be scrapping all this stuff too. We can basically live on this entire island. And yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of space and all that, but unless we can make a bridge to the mainland, it's pretty useless, I'm not gonna lie. Cause we're just out in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the ocean. The radiated ocean that f that completely destroys our body with rads the second we go out there. So it's not really helpful. Also, I think I'm gonna get that uh, cooking station and bring it over here too. Um, okay, still missing that leather. That's okay. And now, what I want to do is just grab the fat man, store the sledgehammer, and let's see what this baby can do, shall we? I probably should save right now, but I don't want to sleep another hour, so I'm just going to go ahead and say, fuck it, we're going to use it, and hopefully I don't miss really know how to aim this thing. Also, uh-oh. Oh my god, if I actually, like, run into this thing, I'm, like, in trouble. Well, let's think about this strategically. Which one do I want to take out? That's where the city is. So I probably want to take out the one closest to the city, but I want to take one out that has, that's near loot, you know? And I think those are the buildings I've searched already. So the one over here, which isn't even here anymore, yeah, those are the buildings I searched, I believe. Yeah, that's the destroyed house. Oh, he just walked away. Well, I have to kill one at least, because I'm not taking this fat man to the mainland. It just weighs too much. And I want some leather anyway, so... I might get some good food from it, too. Where... is... the bear? Did I search this building before? I think I did. We'll search that boat in a sec here. Also, here we are at the cooking station. Let's go and switch oops, switch to the workshop. Pick that up. Take it with us back to base camp. Again, I should really be taking, like, one of the armors from one of these guys. Actually, can I just, like... Uh, 
Uh, leather. There we go. Again, I don't know if I can actually... Well, yeah, I can, I'll just drop it on the ground and scrap it that way. So, yeah, I'll be able to scrap it. So, we got leather. We don't really need to use the fat man if I don't have to. But I have it just in case I find the bears, which seem to have wandered off. Maybe drown themselves. Hopefully. Who knows? Let's just throw this here. Maybe I can make right now. No, I'm just curious on the soup and stuff. So, carrot, dirty water, squirrel bits, potatoes. Yeah, a lot of these are going to be in... A lot of the soups are going to have a lot of vegetables. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go kill that Yagwai, or that bear, because I need to hunt. If not for the leather... There he is. He doesn't see me, does he? Oh, he's a gunning, too. 5% chance. That seems like a good shot. Oh, man, I'm going to fucking miss. You got this, Jonna. Hello? He's looking at me. Hello? Need to hit him before he gets close to me, or I'll kill myself. Hey! Mr. Bear! Mr. Bear, can you, like, run at me for a second? Like, that'd be great if you could just try and kill me. So I can get a shot on you. Mr. Bear! Mr. B oh my god. Okay. Fire! What the fuck? What? That- okay. Okay, bad idea. This is a bad idea. This was a terrible idea. I, I regret this. Also, I did not miss that shot. That is probably due to the new mechanic of gun accuracy. So, uh, in Frost version 0.2, gun accuracy is significantly lower. So, if we actually look at our perks here, and we check, like, for instance, Rifleman. Doesn't say it increases damage anymore, it makes accuracy better. Same thing with Commando, same thing with Gunslinger. A lot different. So guns, not nearly as accurate. I would imagine the fat man at level 1 is not the most accurate thing in the world. Which is probably why the second 44 shot I shot at him did hardly any damage. It probably hit his stomach and not his head. You know what? I don't think I can waste the ammo on him. We're just gonna have to go. I have the leather I need, so let's just go. Let's make our sleeping bag and... I guess leave. Where's the closest? This looks like the closest. I guess we'll just go to the shore. I got some fungal purge. I've got a couple bandages. I can make it. It really sucks to leave all this nice stuff behind, but it's something, I guess. And it says I can't make it, so I'm gonna have to manually do this real quick. Come on. Get me out of here. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this. And let's go into this mode. And there we go. Scrap it. Camping gear, sleeping bag, and anything else we can make right now. Mm, cow drops. I don't really want cow drops. Uh, also, drugs now reduce your, your sanity. So you know how I love using, you know, buff jet, any kind of jet really, because it's literally amazing? Well, now, it makes your sanity all fucked up, which is a new mechanic which we'll be exploring in the future. Also, fertilizer and plastic. There's a ton of fertilizer on this island. We really wanted to min-max that, but I don't know. We could find more jet on the mainland anyway. Let's go ahead and take what we need. Store what we don't. Yep, this looks about right. I guess I don't need the army fatigues. Even though it gives me that one strength. It doesn't give me the armor I'm looking for. This rad sag outfit does give me the armor though. And it is getting a little bit dark. So maybe we'll head off in the morning? So we'll go ahead and we'll... Oh man, it's only six! No, 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 no. I'm gonna sleep for an hour. And if it's still visible, yeah, we need to go. We're tired from lack of sleep, we are thirsty, but we need to get to that mainland. We have to, and then we'll sleep once we get there. Which is, I don't even know which direction I'm looking. So it's this way. We have to make it here. Alright, let's do this. Next time, because I think I'm going to end today's survival here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.